Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I will be covering various types of software testing. So I am going to cover in detail different types of testing which is available in software testing. Right? I am going to provide you complete details of uh, different testing types which is available in software testing. Hence, please do not skip this video because I am going to cover in details about all the software testing which is which are the different types of software testing available in the software testing space. So before moving further to understand in detail about everything every different types of software testing if you are not subscribed to testing shala youtube channel till now then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos will be in your inbox as and when we publish our new videos so let us move on to understand so what is all about the types of software testing and on a very high level, if I can talk about in a very high level, software testing is classified as a two things. One is the functional testing and the second is non-functional testing. The higher level, these are the only two things which we consider. One is functional and non-functional. Now again further the functional testing and non-functional testing has been broken into various uh, different types of testings, right? The functional testing has been further broken down to unit testing, integration testing, system testing, sanity testing, smoke testing, interface testing, regression testing, and beta testing so these are the some of the different types of testing and uh, functional testing similarly there is also the different types of testing has been divided in non-functional area such as performance testing load testing stress testing volume testing security compatibility installation testing recovery testing, reliability, usability, compliance and localization and so on, right? So I will be covering every details of every testing which is available in the software testing area in this video, okay? So let's go by one by one uh, of what are the different types of uh, software testing. So let's talk about what is all about ALPA testing. So ALPA testing is nothing but a, it is an another kind of testing which is normally will be done before we are sharing with the client. Before sharing with the client, basically this would be done by our developer itself, right? Or uh, within the development company itself to test different aspects of testing just to ensure that before we are releasing to the customer and we are ensuring that every aspects of the application is really works or not so that is all about all part testing what is acceptance testing Acceptance testing is nothing but this is a final level of testing which normally does by the business users or a client who is going to sign off the overall testing based on the business requirement which they provided against that they are going to sign up by testing all the aspects of end-to-end -end things by the business users they will be completely testing in the business uh, perspective and also they will also be testing in the actual uh, environment production kind of environment they will be testing it to ensure that whatever they requested in the beginning the different user stories 
which has been really taken care for the acceptance testing or not will be validated by the business users so that is the overall uh, aspects in the acceptance testing and it would be the last uh, kind of testing it is normally done as part of the testing which is acceptance testing ad hoc testing so what is all about ad hoc testing so ad hoc the the name itself suggest ad hoc means it's a casual it is a casual way of testing the things so where we do not have any documentation we do not have any plan if somebody says that can you please test this functionality basically that time there is no requirements will be there there is no plan will be there right there is no test cases will be there or nothing will be there so basically our testers would randomly will go and test certain aspects and also they will see how can we go and break the application the main motto here is how we can go and break the system by doing randomly different kind of testing by putting lot of different kinds of data everything we are going to do in a ad hoc fashion right main goal is go through all the flows all the things and see to that is there any way we can break the application if you are able to break the application then we'll go and lock the defect whichever the area it is really not working so that is all about ad hoc testing the next type of testing here is accessibility testing so what is all about accessibility testing accessibility testing is nothing but as a able person we are a able person where we are able to see we are able to visualize we are able to touch we are able to do everything for a able person for able person we can access the application in a normal way and also there is a guidance is there whatever the application which is going to be released in the market there are many places there is a disabled people also are going to access the same application let's think about in a bank application right the bank application can be accessed by the both able person people as well and disabled people as well now if bank people only enable the application for able people then that means you are not allowing disabled people to use the bank application so it is not a good aspect right ends almost all the companies they do prefer to provide a capability to access the their application for disabled people as well right the disability could be the person can be deaf or is having a blindness or is mentally not stable or is a old age person right there are various uh, disability factors may be there or he may not be able to type right or he may not be able to speak up there are many disability aspects may be there so even that kind of people also should be able to access the bank application or in that matter any application now in order to test those aspects as well like whether your application can be accessed by the disabled people as well without having any challenges then that kind of testing which we normally perform is accessibility testing i am hoping you clearly got an idea of uh, what is all about accessibility testing so now let us move on to understand the beta testing what is all about beta testing so beta testing we normally we are giving to the customers itself so be, during beta testing we may not be giving to everybody in the world so maybe we will be selecting uh, certain users so we will be selecting certain users and we will be giving the environment to them just to ensure that at least first level of feedback we can get from the selected customers so if we, there are under if if you plan to 
under users to under customer to use this application maybe we'll give it to four or five important customers and we'll try to gather as much as inputs from them when when the beta testing would be carried out by these customers and the main goal is you should not break or you should not have any major challenges when they're trying to access the application or when they're trying to work on that application that is the main motto and all these customers would be testing from the end user perspective and they will be testing every aspect from their recommend perspective and how the overall uh, customers are going to access it so based on that they will be providing a feedback and once the feedback is there and people we are once uh, once the feedback from the customer then development team will trying to fix those issues and they will give back to them again for further processing that is all about beta testing the next type of testing is back end testing so what is all about back end testing so back end testing is nothing but there are various back ends available in the market these days we have a sql server is there mysql oracle then we have uh, different uh, open source databases are there basically in these databases the data will, would be stored in various uh, forms right it could be stored in the table format or it could be st stored in the image format or a video format and so on right so basically there are various aspects data can be pumped right let's say if i have an registration page when i try to register the application then all the information which i entered in the registration page should move into the database and when i try to enter it in the ui and i also should go and validate it in the database whatever i entered in the ui whether that is really reflected in the database or not so that is the main aspects uh, where we would be doing a back end testing so whatever i entered in the front end or any other aspects right even i can pump the data from the api as well so whatever the methodology or the forms which i used to pump the data from one end to the back end which is a database then we should ensure that whatever the transaction which is performed from the front end or api the respective data should be there in the database so these are the some of the aspects we are going to check it and also we are going to check whether is there any data corruption is there is there any challenges is there in terms of uh, data which is moving from uh, one area to the another area all those things would be testing there in the back end testing so next type of uh, testing would be 